TXG game, but it's good. Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy Dynamic Skills coming at you guys with a requested video, man. Now, I wasn't gonna make this video, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I just usually do my own thing. I didn't think my rep method would help anybody out because you don't even really see a lot of two way shot creators out here. But somebody in the comment section on my 95 overall videos was like, hey, Dynamic Man, can you post your rep method? And here it is. So if you are a two way shot creator, guys, I'm gonna show you. How to get 95, 90 to 100K per game. Now, before we get into this video, I'm going to need you guys to hit that like button and subscribe. And let's get to it. Now, first things first, before we get into this video, you have to be a 94 overall to get on-court coach. The on-court coach badge is key. If you don't have on-court coach, I don't know what to tell you, man. Just run some simple pick and rolls because, or if you're a point guard, you should be good. But if you don't have on-court co coach, coach, I can't even fucking talk. If you don't have on-court coach, bro, you cannot do this method, all right? Now, if you was paying attention to the intro, you guys can see that I got 103K that game. But I want you guys to pay attention to this image on the screen right now. For posterizing dunks, I got 21K from posterizing dunks, all right? And for pick and roll finishes, I got 27K. That's almost 30,000 on top of all the other little stuff that you could do. But that is my bread and butter right there. That is what I go for, posterizing dunks, and I go for pick and rolls. 34 out of 36 pick and rolls gave me almost 30K, all right? Now... All right, now, before we get into any gameplay, guys, you're going to have to go to your roster and to your minutes and make some changes, all right? First things first, you need to go into your roster. You need to give your whole starting five, whoever you, you want in your starting five, maximum minutes, all right? And you have to at least put yourself in a small forward position, power forward position. I think you can even do this at the shooting guard position, all right? Take away all the minutes from everybody else except for your six man. Don't have your six man as a backup point guard or a shooting guard. Make sure he's like a big man so nobody will replace your point guard and nobody re will replace you, all right? Now, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the play that's going to make your day, all right? Cut 15 horns alley. Now, what I need you to do, I need you to go to your playbook. I need you to delete every single play that's in your playbook, whether you're on the Rockets, whether you're on the Mavs, wherever. It don't matter what team you are. You need to delete every play, go down to Cutter, and find this play. Cut 15 horns alley. That is key. That is bread and butter. That is how I'm able to do what I'm able to do and get all of that rep, okay? Now, now once you've done that, you're going to assign the play that I just told you guys. You're going to assign it to you, all right? You're going to keep scrolling until you find your player, and you're going to assign it as priority one. Now, after you do that, you need to make sure nobody else on your roster has this play because it will not work. If you go down court and try to call for the play, it will not work, okay? So make sure nobody else on your team, especially on your starting five, has this cutter play. Make sure it's only assigned to you, all right? Now, if you need, if anybody needs help with doing this, man, like I said, just uh, hit me up in the comment section, man. I don't mind helping you guys do any of this. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't feel like making a, a separate tutorial video on how to assign the plays or how to find the playbook. So if you cannot find this play, if you don't know how to edit your playbook or anything like that, leave some comments down in the comment section and I will get back with you guys as fast as I, as I can. All right. But let's go ahead and get into some gameplay. All right. And I'm going to show you guys what I do with this play, all right? All right, guys, so this is what I do when I'm actually in game right here. You just want to get the ball, go down court, bring up your icon, call the play, run the play, all right? Lonzo or your point guard is going to come up to the top. You're going to sit in that circle spot, wait for the blue line, and you're going to set the screen right there, all right? Now, three things can happen when you run this play. You can either get the pick and roll, you can have Lonzo throw you an alley, or your point guard throw you an alley, or you can shoot butt. In my case, I always run pick and roll because since I'm a two-way shot creator, I don't really have... I mean, my threes are pretty decent, but 
like I said in the beginning, posterizing dunks. Each posterizing dunk, guys, is at least a thousand. I think it's like one thousand one hundred. And I had twenty, so I had I ended up with. 21k from posterizing dunk because I had 20 posterizing. So that's what you want to look for. You guys want to look for the pick and roll and get the posterizing dunk. Every time you throw an alley and you dunk on somebody, that counts as alley oop and that counts as a posterizer. You know what I'm saying? Because just by having anybody under the goal, it's going to count as posterizer. You know what I'm saying? So pick and roll and posterizers. You know what I'm saying? Now, once you in TakeOver, I advise you guys to get Team TakeOver, by the way, because if you get the regular TakeOver, the regular TakeOver doesn't really last that long. Team TakeOver is where you take off with this method, okay? Now, with Team TakeOver, you can either do two things. You can either go down court, you can either run the play, or, or you can do what I'm doing right now. You just give the ball to the shooting guard, call your number on the icon, set the screen, and just go. You just, just run pick and rolls the whole time. That right there, that's pick and roll, that's posterizer, that's all that. All right. So, like I said, man, th this this is this is all I do. And on and on defense, you know what I'm saying? You could just bait blocks or anything. You know what I'm saying, or try to try to try to get some steals. Blocks help out too because blocks count as hard hits. Hard hits are like 1K. You know what I'm saying? But just go down court with team takeover. Pull up the icons. Call your icon up. Pick and roll. Pass the ball, and, 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 and it's 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 that easy. You know what I'm saying? That's that is this is this is all I do, and I'm telling you right now, I get about 90k, uh, 95k, 100k. You know, and by the way, this is on Hall of Fame. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that in the video, but you have to put it on Hall of Fame, bro. Pros not gonna get you nowhere. You know what I'm saying? All star, superstar, they ain't gonna get you nowhere. All right. Hall of Fame is the way to go. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, yeah, I mean, this is basically it, guys. Now, if this video wasn't enough for you guys and you guys want more in-depth, I mean, like I said, dude, just hit me up in the comment section, man. Uh, you know, I, I haven't really seen a method for two-way shot creators. As a matter of fact, you don't even really see this build, to be honest with you. Like, I, mean, I play Park a lot. I got over, like, 3,000 games played. And I, 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 it's very random that you come across this bill. So, you know, like I said, this is a re requested video. Somebody wanted me to upload my rep method. So here we go. And this is what I do. And it's a pretty good rep method. I play all 12 minutes, man. I know some people play half and, you know, some people play two quarters and stuff like that. But me, I play the whole thing, man. You know what I'm saying? And I, and right now I'm a 95 overall. I, I, and I'm going to just keep it a buck with y'all and keep it real. I haven't played career in a long time dude uh i, I don't I, I i can't play it but this is the rep method right here guys all right now i'm not saying that it's the best method i mean this is just my method this is what i do all right so if this video helped you in any type of way form or fashion if you can leave a like on the video leave a comment subscribe shout out to the two-way gang if you are two-way shot creator and you're watching this video bro Hey, man, what's good? Because you don't really see this build. This is a really slept-on build, bro. I got a lot of gameplay coming for y'all, man. I got a mixtape coming, bro. Bro, what I'm telling y'all, bro, bro, my build is nasty, man. I'm telling you, man. You guys see me, man. Uh, if you guys don't are not familiar with my Twitch channel, man, twitch.tv slash dynamic skills with an X at the end. It's right here on the screen. Make sure you guys go check that out. Come check me out. Alive with a two-way shot crate. I usually run twos. I don't really like run, running threes that much, but that's it for the video I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, If you guys have any more requests videos that you want me to do like whatever it is, you know Rep methods uh, how to beat certain archetypes, you know, just any it, like anything just holler at me Let me know bro, and I don't mind doing these type of things, but uh, I love you guys DXG gang Y'all already know what it is, baby. Hope you guys have a good day, man, and I'll see you guys on the next video, bro